I find shearing images are quite interesting. Shearing is anamorphosia. Anamorphosia actually creates dimensionality. In fact, if you look at the baby, and that's a painting by Leonardo da Vinci, you'll notice that it actually comes off of the wall. In other words, it enters into virtual space. Very interesting to understand, the baby. So let's look at some of these paintings from a, um, anamorphosia. In other words, a view from the side. There's a different types of anamorphosia. Very interesting. So we'll see you soon. some form of discussion. To understand it, that's all we and go to them, you collect the music, and the that is beautiful. I really like the shadow effect here. Look at that, isn't that monstrously beautiful, right? It's very, very beautiful. <laughs> okay, let's take a further look. Now, there's different elements that are, are taking place here. One of them I've noticed is there's a bit of a, uh, let's just say the Simpsons family. I'm from uh, Mississauga Road. My horse's name was Bart. My family worked in ACL, but they did uh, giant tomatoes up in the Chuck River. Genetics. And uh, we were beside the Simpsons estate, and we'd ride there all the time. I don't know that. One of the horses that we have, King, they will show you a picture that AI created, and it created a lightning bolt that came up King, this very beautiful quarter horse, up the leg, and that was done by AI. And in reflection, I realized King had been struck by lightning, and he died of that lightning, and that's exactly how it happened. So AI seems to have some sort of connection. It's pretty interesting to sort of talk about coincidence. It's a little bit beyond coincidence, because there's actually no light in the picture at all. So we're looking at more of these images, and this seems to be like a family discussion. They must have a very supportive family, and they are part of the discussion. Now, there's other picture too that we did an AI picture of John Lennon and Yoko Ono. They were on a skidoo on the farm. And AI you know, again, they created an image of uh, Yoko and she reacts very strongly for the still image. In other words, AI is creating emotional response. In this case, with King being hit by lightning, there's an element of what exactly was that? The sense of what is AI is a part of our cognitivity. Not their so here we are. These are great images. They're really quite wonderful. And as they always discuss, the finish. In other words, how you make the object look in the finish. So, it's an important feature.
in those exhibitions, size it, right? The material, how the material is used. A whole bunch of different factors. <coughs> so, what we have here are some sketches. I really like sketches. Sketches really <coughs> show the talent of the individual in the drawing. There's a few sculptures that are done like this. You can look at the moors and there's just lots of sketches done. You can look at Stuart Reed's work, and Stuart Reed's work carries a bit of the moor because Moore's images essentially come from watching the subways fill up with people during the conflict of the war, and he would have reclining women all over the place. There were all these women reclining with babies in the subway. So if you look at Stuart Reed's work, it has a bit of that on the Canadian subway, and his drawings, they still have discussion about them. So, this is quite interesting, bringing in Bart. Bart Simpson. What's interesting? These are dramatic works. They almost look soft. There also is a virtual reality image here that essentially is you point the camera and there it generates an image. I saw that about 30 years ago at the Ontario College of Arts Student Union Gallery in the market. I was just, wow, that was great. The tablets had just come out. Everything had just, just come out. It's a very interesting photo. Let's see what the rest of the exhibition looks like. Oh. Ah, here we're in the most interesting part of the gallery. And this gallery is a really nice restaurant also. It overlooks the street. And uh, it also overlooks... A side street. It's not as much traffic. Now, the first question you have when you look at this cause that seems to be made out of wood is is it made out of wood? And it matches the wood here in the exhibition space. And we can see the interactive effect. This is a great interactive effect. Beautiful. There's a bunch of these sculptures, and for uh, generating art for everybody, you can probably buy miniatures of this and find yourself with one of these in your home. This must have been an interesting party to go to. I wonder what it's about. There's a lot of emotion here. A lot of in and this wooden, as we can see, is a huge kind of wooden environment. Look at that. And these pieces of wood like that. Ask the question, are they made out of wood? And probably not. Plastic, because plastic works very well. Now here's the virtual sculpture here. In other words, you pick up your phone and uh, it will generate a sculpture that's over here. I saw this about 30 years ago at the Ontario College of Arts Student Union exhibition at Kensington Market in 19... Yeah, sure, 2003 about, right? So 20 years ago. And it was a very interesting exhibition and it did this, it introduced virtual reality. And it's the first time I've ever seen it, I'm not sure it's the first time it's ever done. Here, if you look at a virtual image, and we can do that perhaps later, you will see a three-dimensional sculpture that's there. A very interesting kind of work. It brings all art into the virtual world, right? It brings art into your living room, and you can do that in your living room. And you feel connected in a virtual reality context. So, you can see that people are doing this. They're looking at the virtual art through their app and then they, from there they can see the image.
So here are virtual sculptures. No one has actually got their virtual sculpture working, but you can take a look. And we'll look at the other one. And obviously we can't see them, but that's what they are. They're virtual sculptures. You scan the code, and then you'll be watching a virtual image. Now we're going to see some more cards. And uh, take a further walk. This is an extraordinary space. It's very high. It's on a main road, so you overlook the main street. And over here are further art galleries that are outside. Here we have a pretty dramatic image that I've seen before. This is a fantastic sculpture. Look at the ambience of this room. This is a free exhibition. You can come in, walk around as you like, and enjoy yourself. The art galleries are very beautiful. The same with the aquarium. They're really quite something. There are great pieces. Yeah. Look at this. This is dramatic. Fantastic. Now we're entering into the Moore area, and Moore is an interesting person. Um, if we look at Stuart Reed's work at Union Station, it's about reclining women. That's what it's about. And uh, he has the same kind of images inside of the subway of reclining women because more experienced this during the Second World War, where the subways were filled with families and filled with people who were escaping the Blitz. So he has from there the theme of the reclining woman. And that's what this theme is about. These are beautiful images. These spaces. The Reclining Woman, from the subways of London during the Blitz, thousands of women with their tens of thousands of women with their family. And this is the Reclining Woman. So we have more of the cards, and this is quite interesting, this entire sculpture oh, yeah. area. On your left-hand side, just separate. Right. Yeah. So they get the front of the space, the center of the face of the glass, and it's all the way in the back. And we have a nice... <laughs> and here we have a miniaturized version of the landing. Where were you in 1969 when we landed on the moon? That was an extraordinary time. I remember where I was. I was in Amsterdam when I was introduced to the dam and all the hippies with my grandfather had painted up a couple of the streetcars with flowers and they were driving around in circles and you jump on them and you go right to the greenhouses. And my grandfather grew palm trees and coconut trees and banana trees and they were very valuable in the north, they were rare part of collections and they were put inside of palaces and buildings and uh, that kind of thing. And you'd go in there and you'd have palm trees. During the Second World War, there were banana trees in there, and I read an article. I'm ready to be picked up. I'm 
So this is the past time, right? And this is the moor. And then the AGO, the art gallery of Ontario. We're going to wander around more and see what else is going on. Just a few sort of random exhibitions. There's a key tearing that's going on right now. And here we can have some of the sketches we see of the reclining woman. It's the reclining figure. He did lots of sketches, which is very interesting. Some very famous group of seven. I'd say something very interesting. The group of seven was an outstanding group of people. They changed the world of art. It's interesting because the Canadians think a lot of the seven, but a lot of other people do from other countries. And uh, it's something really captured. Now, the first time I came to Toronto, uh, I met Casson, the first person I met in the art world. And here, of course, you're going to find the finest of them.
There's a lot of Canadian art here. The one thing you have to notice is that snow really emulates the fact that shadows are blue. And the natural light, shadows are blue. The white really shows.
Popular here in Kenya, he seems to describe and understand everything really understand the yeah. shape <laughs> and placement. And the spectacular sculpture, look at this. Sort of help stimulate this idea with some projects that I developed. Really interesting. It's pretty interesting. So this is the image that you see, and the discussion, and then you have your scan, and you will see that image here.
these are a fantastic room. Just extraordinary to understand. Our wood. We come to this wooden sculpture. And you're quite sure that it's not made out of wood. It's probably made out of plastic. This plastic can turn into wood very easily. In the sense of this is the nature of plastic. And so here we have the famous. sketches and uh, see how they connect. And we're going down the stairs here. So. Now, black and white and color are very interesting. We refer to them as color bursts. You can look at a Dr. Land from Land Camera, Polaroid, his discussion about color bursts and rods and cones and how really good they are for stimulating chemical reactions in the brain. So you see black and white, and then you see color. And those are the two. We have the Keith Herring exhibition, Art for Everybody, and we'll take a look at that one later. And now, we're going to get on this. Enjoy that. That's good. So, they're opening exhibitions. Human artists making history. It's not interesting. And this is 
We get her turning and twisting. Staircase here. Yeah, we just see the outside. And before we do that, there's always the downstairs where we can continue the idea of the path and the idea of an underground parking, right? So let's just go take a look at that. This is the exhibition area. And let's go take a look. Downstairs at the ships and the idea of an underground parking area and what that encompasses. A very beautiful idea, really. So if there's no children down there, we can continue filming it. We'll take a look. Let's see what's going on. So we're right on the main street here. This is Dunbar Street. And they have a whole bunch of areas here that are of different kinds of situations. Um, and people enjoy them too. They are making courses on stairs and the youth program. Here, of course, is actually underground. And here there are no children, so that's fine. So this is an area where people make artwork. Very beautiful. And here is a place for people to make sculptures, and they do. They have three forms. And then over here, we have this incredible art gallery of ships. Look at these things, this looks great. The direction of the design is amazing to watch. Shipbuilding and these kinds of structures can really have an impact. Just imagine this kind of a ship inside of a large port, and you can see the rest of the gallery and how incredible it really is. It's quite extraordinary. Let's take a look at that now. Photographs and an area where you can sit and enjoy the space. And here's another thing we call the annex, which is a space where you can sit and take a look at what's going on in your own world, as you can have a comfortable place to sit and work. There are clubs, not a coffee shop, but there's a coffee shop if you're in there. It's really nice place to work, especially if you live in the suburbs and far away. 